Hello. Today's devotional can be found in 1 Nephi chapter 13, verse 26. They have taken away from the gospel of the Lamb. All right, so. We don't need to diminish Jesus Christ, and we shouldn't dare diminish Jesus Christ, but other people diminish Jesus Christ all the time. They try to diminish him so they can take his gospel and claim it as their own and twist it into something that is convenient for them and easy to understand. The gospel of Jesus Christ is what it is, but we don't have to be who we are. We can become better, wiser, stronger, so that we can rise up to the gospel. We can come under the gospel as we are and become better through the atonement of Jesus Christ. We are smarter than we give ourselves credit for. We are better than we give ourselves credit for. We are children of God, even though we might not see that. We are of infinite worth and unconditionally loved and lovable, even though we might not give ourselves credit that. For that, because the world says we're less. Just because we are all a little different and we struggle with different things, the world says we're less. The world says we don't have the right to be happy. We don't have the right to find joy and have joy. Because we all struggle with different things, and so we have to be less according to the world. We don't have to be less according to Christ because Christ suffered and died, gave us the atonement so we could let go of being less. We could let go of what holds us back from becoming better and living up to our potential as children of God, but the world takes away from the gospel of the Lamb and tries to make us see ourselves as less than we are and less than we can be. So they can have control over us. Well, Satan's all about control. He's got a pretty firm grip on the world. Christ, however, wants us to take away what holds us back. He wants to, us to give over what holds us back. He wants to take it away so we can find joy in who we are and what we can give. The world takes away from the gospel of the Lamb so that the world can take away how we feel about it and how we feel about ourselves. And they don't want us to have joy because Satan has filled them with misery about who they are and what they can become. Satan is miserable like unto himself, so he wants to make everybody else miserable, but we don't have to be. Because of Jesus Christ, we can be happy and find joy in who we are and who we can become. We don't have to be like Satan because there is no future in that. There is a future in finding joy in Christ and because of Christ. But, you know, that's up to you what you want to become. That's up to all of us. We all have our freedom of choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And know that your freedom of choice starts today. Only you can choose what you become and nobody else can tell you otherwise. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.